There she is. Ready to catch some fish. Gonna be going after smallmouth bass in the Snake River today. I haven't fished the Snake River in probably over a year. So it should be good, it should be fun. Smallmouth are notoriously aggressive, so it'll be a lot different going after those guys as opposed to going after largemouth like we did the other day. But that is the plan for today. Stick with me guys, hope you enjoy the video. Let's get going, let's get on the road. Let's catch some fish, let's get it. In case you guys couldn't tell, the water is super high and it's moving very fast. So that'll be one of the challenges we deal with today. There was a spot I wanted to get to further up the river, but that dam's open up pretty much all the way and water's just chugging today. If this doesn't work out on this river, we might transition over to the Columbia River, but like I said, we're gonna try this out. Allergies are killing me, dude. It's like we don't want to fish the yak because it's moving fast and look at us on the snake. <laughs> kind of feel like we need to get a little closer. It's slowing down a little bit, right? Yeah, this is good. This is where we got to be right here. We're going down. We got to go. It's not working. Next spot. Current's just way too fast up here. Don't want to deal with it. Have to adjust. Next spot. Came down to the Columbia River now. We're still like at that section where we're still kind of on the snake, but getting onto the Columbia. The current is a lot slower down here. We're not ripping as hard. Water's still pretty high down here as well. I'm hoping that resolves in a couple of weeks, but this is what we got to work with. Making adjustments, trying to find a pocket of water that we could take advantage of. Sorry, I'm trying to control the chilling water with my hand. And not the remote right now. Dude, my allergies suck. How are yours, bud? We're not really bad. Got a plane flying overhead. We're ready to go. We'll get him. We're gonna get a small mouth. If we can't catch a small mouth, we'll probably try to go catch a large mouth, but I'm trying to find a fish, period. Buddy, this spot's big enough for everybody. Well, that sucks. All right, so this spot's a nope. We've uh, we've pretty much tried the whole entire bank. We've tried some offshore fishing here in the middle, scanning down for underwater humps. It's not happening back here, so we're gonna go to another spot. I'm not quite sure where we're gonna go yet, but I feel like when we get out of this backwater area, I'll kind of have an idea, but yeah, let's get going. See you at the next spot. He's already. The fake. Yeah, that's nice. No, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. There you go, buddy. Nice job. <laughs> I aim for the lily pads. Did you? Yeah. Oh, well, we got one back here now. Put some line out. Text the screen. Yeah. Careful, don't get hooked. Aggressive smallmouth. Fought pretty good, didn't he? Yeah. Brother's on a smallmouth. Yeah, I fell uh, pretty hard. Got it in the lily pads. Nice job, buddy. Nice job. Ah, 
Good job, bud. Thanks. Let's keep going, keep chugging. That's the thing with these smallmouth, man. They don't just tug or whatever. They just hit it and then they go with it. It's kind of, did you even have to set the hook? See, that's what I'm used to is cause like the other day we went for largemouth. Gotta set the hook good on those guys. Ned rig and a jig on it. Swim that back to the boat. Let's see if we can get lucky. Let's get lucky. But hey, we are not skunked. That's good. We got a little momentum. Let's find some more. Big carp right here, brother. Huge. Gigantic carp. Those things are at least 15 pounds. Carp are huge. Oh, here's one right here. I'm not catching you though, buddy. Get out of here. Really shallow. Good thing I'm getting bit. It's a big area back here, bigger than I remembered. Ooh, there's a fish right there. No, that's not, that's not me, there's a fish. Yeah. I'm gonna go back there with you. Kinda hit this corner here. I feel like they could be like back here waiting to ambush um, bait that come by. Yeah. I'm gonna flip us around. Let's get strategic here. They don't, they don't, they don't, they don't. I don't know what it is. It's a fish though. Get ready. It's a big bass. It's a nice bass there, bro. Come on, come on. Let's go. That's a big, large mouth. That is what I'm talking about. Let's go, buddy. Right here. Put it there. Let's go. That's what we were fighting for right there. That's what we were grinding for, Ambrose. Barely hooked. Look at that. Barely hooked. Big old largemouth bass, man. Let's go. It's taken forever to get them, but well worth it. We've been out here for five hours now, and my brother got a buy. I barely just got this one. I had nothing prior to this. Regardless, got them in the boat. Really heavy, but I'd say this is at least three pounds. It's at least a three pound bass. It, it's heavy. It feels good, man. This is a chunk. Really good to get out here and catch this guy. Good to land a fish, good to just get a couple of fish in the boat, both me and my brother. It seems like every time we come out, it's either I catch one or he catches one, and then the next day, it's the opposite, but good to both catch fish while we're out here. Gonna get a couple photos of this guy and then put him back. Good fight, good fish, happy I brought him in. All right, going for the release now. This fish is heavy, girthy fish. Fought hard too. All right, buddy, go ahead, go down there, go, go. All right. <laughs> Off the water, packing it up. That was pretty fun. That was a good trip. 
That was a pretty good day on the water. I'm really happy with how that turned out considering we had to adapt, change tactics, and just create new plans as we went along. My plan was to fish the Snake River. I knew it was moving fast. I knew that would be a challenge, but that was my plan. That was my goal. Instead of sticking to it when it wasn't working, we moved spots. We moved spots like three, four, five times before we were able to hook up to some fish. The biggest thing today was change, change it up, change tactics, move around, try different things. Do what you can to get a bite. I'm also happy because on other days it's like my brother catches a fish and I don't catch any or I catch a few, he doesn't catch any. And it, it just worked that way for a few days now, but it was good for us to both get on a bite. Granted it was two fish, but I'm at this point where like, I don't even care how many fish we catch. As long as we're putting fish in the boat, that's a good day. I, I'm really not even concerned about numbers or even size anymore. I feel like when I started this channel, I'm like, okay, I need to get the biggest fish. I need to get the most fish. At this point, I don't even care. I'm just out here doing it. I'm just out here having fun. I'm just out here just putting videos together, making memories. Oh my gosh, you can't even see my face with the sun. Yeah. That's gonna conclude today's video. Appreciate everyone who did tune in to watch. I'll catch you guys next time.